I feel like I keep hearing the same word and I don't like it. Delayed. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we are finally going back to the world of Baldur's Gate 3. Now for anybody new to the channel, out of the 149 videos, this will be video 149 that I have released, 12 have been on this game. Why do I cover this game so much? One, I am highly anticipating it because I want to play it, but two, because this game is the follow-up to, in my opinion, the greatest CRPG of all time. And of course, that is Baldur's Gate 2. And what are we going to be discussing today about Baldur's Gate 3? We're going to be talking about when you are going to be able to get your hands on it. This year, next year, is it delayed? When's early access? That is what we're going to be talking about. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Here at Action RPG, I stream, I do tech reviews, I cover major gaming news, but the big portion of this channel, all things Action RPG. So if you grew up loving the Diablo series, if you're a fan of top-down isometric hack and slash style games, you are in the right place. So please consider subscribing and supporting smaller channels. All right. Let's get on to this BG3. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. And bonus points to the first person that could tell me what this shirt is from. It means you're not as nerdy as you think. All right, so let's jump right into this. So right now I'm on PC Invasion. This is an article written by Jake Sue. Baldur's Gate 3 delays early access launch, but still targeting 2020. Now for anybody that didn't follow this game previously, all the big details about it were dropped at PAC East earlier in the year. And during there, they kind of unveiled that you are going to be able to get your hands on this early access in 2020, which obviously everybody was super excited about. So that's why they're now following up to see when that's going to be. With events being canceled left and right and everyone seemingly working from home, the cold pandemic has certainly made its presence felt. YouTube won't actually let me say it. Sometimes it does, but then it screws with the video, so I just always say cold. That includes in the gaming space, too. The latest casualty is Larian Studios Baldur's Gate 3, which will see a slight delay due to the situation. However, the developers are still aiming for early access launch in 2020. Now, I do have to say, normally when developers say they are aiming for something, they are hopeful they're going to make it, this is our target, I mean, they almost never hit it. Unfortunately, in the gaming world, especially in PC, things are always delayed, they're always pushed back, there's always, we want to make sure it's right for the fans. And then you wait years until it comes out. Anyways, taking it slow. Earlier this year at PAC East, Larian noted its plans for Baldur's Gate 3 to see early access launch in a couple of months. That date will now have to shift, though. In an interview with the New York Times, Larian's, Larian Studios' Chief Sven stated that development is proceeding. Unfortunately, things are just slowed down. The studio is apparently working at 70 to 80 percent of normal productivity. That's actually not too bad. It's no surprise that the impact of the pandemic has taken its toll on the team. Look at these nice images. We started seeing more stress on the leads in terms of communication. Uh, Sven added, we'd spend all of our days just communicating, trying to solve problems, organizing things, give direction. The team had to fight through, fight through such teething issues, but it seemed that the worst could be over. Except for the aspects of voice acting, development has to carry on. So that's good. Obviously, at Larian Studios, they have the huge green screen room. They have the full voice acting studios. When they're, you know, doing stuff at home, they can't do that. They're probably just working on code and different types of development. Still on track. However, it's not all doom and gloom for both creators and fans. Talking to Twinners, Twitter, Sven made it made sure to note some good news for those invested in Baldur's Gate 3. While the development of the game has slowed down, it keeps on progressing and the devs still expect to reach early access this year. That's another one, still expect. 
An early access title may not be what most fans want, but at least it's something to hold on to. Larian Studios has proven itself quite inept, adept at creating wonderful role-playing experiences. Baldur's Gate 3 will likely be one of those successes as well. We just have to wait for everything to come together. And this is actually Sven's Twitter. Nordic Times interview was not exactly about what I would have imagined, but it does bring some good news. While we're slowed down, development on BG3 keeps on progressing, and we still expect EA this year. So that's the news that we have received from Larian Studios, their chief executive, good old Sven. And I've actually had the time to talk some of the people at uh, Larian, and they really, really enjoy working for this guy. So I do trust what he's saying. But anytime you're dealing with a company, you're dealing with finances and trying to hit timelines for investors, you are always going to be overly optimistic, right? So, you know, it looks like the country might be slowly starting to open up. Who knows? Maybe these people will be able to get back to, to work. At least they're not even in this country. But um, who knows? Maybe things will continue as planned. And at PAC East, they did make it apparent and show that the game is farther along than the community expected. So, you know, I think a lot of the developments there, maybe they'll release an early access, but the vast amount of things you can do in the early access will be limited. Maybe it'll only be like Act 1, or you can only progress so far. That normally happens a lot, so then at least it, ple it pleases the community, and we'll be able to get our hands on it. But who knows? Today's a little bit of a short video. Like I said, I'm always going to cover everything Baldur's Gate 3. I wish I had more information to go off of, but I'm going to continue to bring that to you as it drops. Now, I am going to actually end this video with the Baldur's Gate 3 cinematic because just in case you miss this or you haven't seen it for a while it is it is a pretty fun ride so that is what i'm going to leave you with right now i hope you all enjoyed this video i'm going to continue to link my content at the end of the video and if you have not joined my discord please do that the information is in the description below. We are growing a gaming community and we're going to jump that community from game to game. So we start off the server with a good group. All right, that's all I got. Stay home, stay safe. Aaron.